Hey, what's up guys? I'm back here with a brand new video. We're going to be talking about heat sinks and why it's a good idea to switch from your stock heat sink to a better performing one. First of all, let's talk about the original heat sink, which is this one from that I have right here. This one is from AMD, but they're pretty much the same Intel as an AMD. First of all, we can see that the better performing one, it's probably three times as big as the other one. But the main problem with the original ones is that they blow the air from outside downward. Why don't we want this? Because on the motherboard, what we want to do is take away the heat, not transfer it back to the motherboard. For example, if we had the original one right here, it would be blowing the air down into all these pieces, even into your memory. So that's not good. Why they make them this way, I'm not sure. But if you're really, if you're really not a gamer or do much with your PC, it's all right if you have one of these. But if you're a rend if you're rendering videos, um, 3D or hardcore gaming, then you really need a better performing heatsink, which is one that I have right here. They're smaller ones, but I chose this one because, well, I just want a cool PC. As you can see, from the difference as the other one, this one doesn't pull the, the air down towards the motherboard. This one takes the heat up from these copper tubes upwards between these aluminum panels. And we got a PC fan in the middle, 120 millimeter PC fan, which blows the air outside. Right now I have my motherboard, out, my motherboard outside, but it will pull the air outside and there would be another fan right here, which will take it out. If you want to take a look at the PC fan, it's like this one right here. 120 millimeter fan. What's good about these P PC fans, they don't have to spin as fast as these small ones, which make way less noise as this one right here. So this is my recommendation, um, change your PC fan, your heat sink I mean, it's really easy, it's not as hard as you think, there's, pretty, there's a lot of videos that show you how to change them, just in case you, you have any doubts. This one right here is the Arctic Extreme, it runs about $35 at Amazon, if you like it I'm gonna leave a link down here so you can go direct. Well this is it, if you like my video, give it a like, if you don't like it, well you don't like it, give it a, a dislike, if you have any comments, leave them down here, and if you like my video, subscribe to it, there's going to be many more, this is just my second one, so yeah, I would appreciate it if you subscribe, thanks guys.